Hi, John here from my speaking score. This is a bit of a weird one. If you're preparing for TOEFL speaking on our platform and you have lots of data, maybe you've seen something like this, check it out. Green scores across all the dimensions here, very high speech rater task score, global rank in the 92nd percentile, perfect TOEFL speaking score estimate, beautiful, right? And yet a low score in the grammatical accuracy dimension. 35. Can help them develop a strong work ethic and a sense of accomplishment by acknowledging the meaning of hard work. This is Michelle from my team, my customer engagement team, and she's testing our AI generated response to the famous chores task. Secondly, performing household chores can help them develop a strong work ethic and a sense of accomplishment by acknowledging the meaning of hard work. Here's the model response she's using. I completely agree that children should receive an allowance for performing household chores. Right away, I notice four things. The first part of her response is cut off. Instead of agree, <laughs> right? This should be, I completely agree. Tip here is when you're practicing, don't jump the beep. Look here. There's also a cut, crucial life. We need a noun here, crucial life. Right In the model, we say crucial life skills. She actually does complete the sentence here. Listen. Uh, children can learn the importance of earning and managing money, which are crucial life. But it sounds like she moved her face away from the mic or something, so the AI didn't capture the word. That's a problem. Tip here is be careful to speak clearly into the mic. And you don't need to speak loudly. Speak at a normal conversation volume. Third thing is this part of her response. Listen. Can help them develop a strong work ethic and a sense of accomplishment by acknowledging the meaning of hard work. There should be a pause there, right? She blended the two sentences. This is a reading error, and you wouldn't do this normally in a spontaneously generated response. But I point it out because it's likely causing a grammatical accuracy penalty here. We're going to test this in a minute. Last thing, and not related to grammatical accuracy, but I wanted to point it out. I can't help myself. You see the relatively low vowels score? It's a great vowel score, but it's relatively low. There are some pronunciation errors in her response. As an example, check this out. Five lessons while contributing to them. Okay, you can hear this in the model. Let's listen as a female. While contributing to their family's well-being. Right. So incorrect syllable stress there on the verb. You can actually practice this in ELSA in the ELSA integration by clicking here and scoring your pronunciation. Contributing. Contributing. Okay. Still with me? Let's see what journal says. Now, journal is our AI feedback tool, and journal is correctly flagging GA as a problem area in an otherwise perfect, pretty perfect response. That's not what happened. That's not even what she said. That's what the AI thinks happened. So I'm going to re record this and correct the four points the two mic cuts, the one at the beginning, and then the one where she turned her face or something, the missed pause. That's where she ran through the period and then the mispronounced verb contributing and re-record the exact same model response. And look at the score. Look, if you've made it this far in the video, you know simply reading model responses into the mic and scoring those is not a valid or reliable indicator of your TOEFL speaking skills, right? Reading models into the mic can help you work on pacing and even understand how high scoring responses are structured, but you need to be able to spontaneously and fluently generate your own responses and you need to do that at a speaking rate of at least 150 words per minute. Good luck and happy practicing.